More and more people and businesses becoming victims of cyber crimes. The government is now urging banks to do even more to protect your money. In tonight's Action Line Consumer Alert, Shani Barr explaining how they're fighting back against the online crooks. Fraud clearly is a problem that is not going to go away. In fact, if anything, it'll just get worse. A two-day conference brought together leaders from Hawaii's banking community and federal regulators with the goal of examining the latest trends within the industry and coming up with solutions to the growing problems of identity theft, cybersecurity threats, as well as the challenges that come with mobile and online banking. Credit card fraud, um, the financial exploitation of elderly, those are all things that we continue to work diligently to help our consumers uh, protect them from losing their life savings. And in some cases, they have lost their life savings. Pay says one of the newest forms of fraud protection that has proven successful is the use of chips and credit cards, which are designed to prevent criminals from counterfeiting cards. But Pay adds that's just the tip of the iceberg. Everything from biometrics to, uh, you know, eye print, fingerprint, picture of your face, uh, to um, other technology tools that will help uh, identify a counterfeit card. First Hawaiian Bank Vice President Neil Okubayashi says financial institutions are dedicating large amounts of resources into combating cybersecurity and fraud, more so than ever before. It is really an ongoing thing because, like I say, the hackers and cybersecurity threats come in different forms and ways, and each day, it's probably an exaggeration, but each day they find a new way to get into your system and we have to protect our consumers. If you have a consumer concern or are interested in becoming an Action Line volunteer, give us a call at 591-0222 weekdays between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or send an email to actionline at khon2.com. Sean Ibarra, KHON2 News.